Hello and welcome or welcome back. My name is Jen and today I am going to be doing a review um, on a painting project. <laughs> Last week a company had reached out to me asking if I would review their product. I was over the moon. I went to my husband I'm like, somebody asked me to review something. <laughs> um, you know, I still feel my channel is fairly, fairly new. Um, and I'm like, I made it. Somebody wants me to review something. <laughs> um, and I was very, very flattered. They may have found my channel due to like some of the artwork videos. I apologize if you can hear that yard work stuff going out there. Somebody's mowing or something. <laughs> anyway, um, so they wanted to know if I would review this this art kit that they had. So I went on to their website and they had a couple like really cool. So these are paint by number kits. And they had a couple like really awesome like <laughs> paint by number kits on their website. Um, but the one that they really wanted reviewed, they have one that's on Amazon and they kind of, they can be hard to sell things on Amazon when you don't really have a lot of like good reviews on there. So they wanted to know if I would um, paint and review that product for them. So I was like, sure, let, let's check it out. Um, <laughs> and then I started to second guess my time commitment. <laughs> <laughs> when I started to look at how long this project might take me um, but I am still looking forward to doing it so um, first of all I'm going to switch the the camera around and show you my laptop and I want to just show you real quick like you know kind of what I saw on their website show you the listing of the actual product uh, from Amazon that I have received and then I'll go ahead and do the unboxing and show you you know if you order this this is what it'll look like this is what you'll get uh, and then I plan on doing a time lapse of me actually painting it and we'll, we'll take a look and see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so Suzango Toys, um, or just, <laughs> or just Suzango is the name of the company. And so when I go to their webpage, let's go onto their front page first. So you can see what it looks like when you hit that home page. Um, so shop like category, all products, puzzles, water toys. Uh, so it looks like they do have a lot of puzzles and well, a lot of neat puzzles. Look at that. So I had typed in a search thing, paint by number. Um, so check out some of these paint by numbers that they have. Like that's incredible. I'll click on this one for a closer look. So these look really cool. So these are priced at $19.99. And here's a picture there. I just thought that that looked so cool. But so this is the brand here, M-T-E-L-E. -E. I'm not sure how you say that, Mattel. Um, so anyway, over on Amazon, so here's that same Mattel. Uh, is the paint by number kit that they have for sale over there. So this is $14.99 um, and it says it's a 16 by 20. So this is the actual product that I have ordered like from Amazon. Um, so it looks like it's on like rolled canvas. I mean, it looks, looks pretty neat. Um, so that's what it looks like on the advertisement. Let's go ahead and look and see what we got in person here. Okay, so this, let me kind of close the box back up a little bit. This is the size uh, box that it arrived in and it came like super fast. I mean, it was from, from Amazon. So when we open it up, pretty, you know, basically we just have our bubble wrap and the actual product there. Now I have not opened this yet. It's still in the plastic. So right off the bat, I would say <laughs> that this was always intended to be, oh, it does, it does have the picture there of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I was going to say intended to be like an online sale. Cause if you just saw this on the shelf in the store, like obviously it doesn't have like a big picture of like, this is what you're going to be painting. Like it looks like that tag on the outside is more so um, for when they're housing these items in their warehouse. It's just like a sticker there of which one it is. 
All right, so it's DIY, there's that Mattel, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, educational, paint by number, stimulate unlimited imagination of children. wonder what the age thing is on this. Not for children under six years uh, due to small parts. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. And okay, before I even open this, when they asked me if I would review this and I saw that this was only a $15 item, like this entire thing, $15, I'm kind of thinking in the back of my mind, I'm like, are you sure you want me to review this? Because <laughs> as I've just continued on in honing in on my, my painting skills and whatnot, um, I have learned that sometimes, you know, cheaper obviously isn't always a better. <laughs> A lot of my painting, my paintbrushes, I'll spend like 20 or $30 on one paintbrush just because I've learned that some things do work better than others. Um, same thing with my paints, you know, I've, there's some paints that I'm willing to spend a lot of money on just because I know the good, the good quality. So, um, but for $15, you know, let, let's see, see what we got here. All right, so inside. We have all the paint, and it looks like the brush is there. So let's see what fell out here. Susengo card there. Thank you for shopping with us. So then here, this shows you what's in the box. Inside here is this little card here I like that I do like having like a reference um, especially for a paint by number because I guarantee you when we pull out that blank paint by number it's gonna be like what the heck is this uh, so I do like having this as a reference the brushes <laughs> like I said I'm a bit of a brush snob like <gasps> I don't mind paying more money for my brushes but for completing this project I'm gonna use the brushes that came with it um, but this is cool that there's there's more than one brush here so i like that they take into account um like i would think a lot of paint by numbers would just give you like one brush so like um that thicker one here like that's gonna make the sky where those big chunks of color are like a lot easier um and then it just looks like we have almost like a medium and a little bit smaller one for like those fine teeny tiny little areas. See, that's gonna bug me, there's the <laughs> I want my bristles even. Give it a little haircut. There's like one sticking out. <laughs> okay, so now we have a straight line across. And then there's also these two, uh, I guess this is for hanging it when you're done, so that's nice. And there's two little screws there too. Don't want to lose those. All right, so next, the paint is nicely vacuum sealed. I don't see any numbers on them though. Hopefully there's like a guide or a key that says like this color is this number. It might be written on the plastic tabs there, but we'll see. We'll get to that. So then the last thing in the box here, it's like a rolled up treasure map. I do like this box. Okay, so I'm going to take the rubber bands off. And oh dear. So, here is this piece of paper. <laughs> kind of like your map and guide. And then, here is our canvas. Oh, oh okay, so we have foam tube in there. So here is what our canvas looks like that we're going to be painting. You can see 
little teeny tiny numbers in there. Okay, so there's, there they are, there's the numbers, okay. <laughs> It's getting worried. <laughs> uh, so the numbers are printed on the front of the containers. So all there is left to do is to paint this bad boy. Oh man. <laughs> Some of these like teeny tiny areas I'm gonna be straining my eyes trying to figure out what. It's a lot of detail. Like. <laughs> And some of these like smaller, smaller people. Here, I'm shouldn't point you show it to you upside down. I don't know. I feel like some of these I might be guessing on like what color it's supposed to be. <laughs> but we'll see. We've got quite the project in front of me here. <laughs> now I wonder if, like on some of the spots, you couldn't get the numbers to on the canvas. I think they're then on the paper. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how this turns out, so stay tuned. Okay, before we get into actually painting this, we need to talk about Amazon reviews. And I wasn't even gonna really include this because I didn't think it was like relevant, but oh, it is. So when they had first reached out to me, like I felt so, so special. Like I thought they were reaching out to me because like, they saw that I did like artwork and that I would be like a good, a good person, a good candidate to, uh, you know, complete their, their product and, and review it, <clears throat> which by all means I absolutely am. But, you know, right off the bat, I could tell, like, you know, so they were, whoever was contacting me was from China, you know, there's a little bit of a language barrier, but I mean, they, they knew pretty, pretty good English. And it says, I'm writing to invite you to review our DIY paint, which give you clue by number. I like what you posted on your channel that is so inspiring and fun. Looking forward to hearing from you. Um, I just, I thought that was pretty cool. So... And at that point, I thought they were just, you know, asking me to review it on my YouTube channel. So I'm like, sure, you know, just send me the thing and I'll, I'll paint it and review it. And, you know, no problem. Well, here, um, you know, I had mentioned the one on their, their Amazon, the one that they're selling on Amazon is the one that they said they really needed reviews for. And at that time, so it was April 26th, just, you know, last week. Uh, I went on that Amazon page and sure enough, like there were zero reviews on this item. So I could certainly understand, uh, you know, it's hard to sell an item on Amazon when it doesn't have any reviews on it. So, you know, she had mentioned that that's the one they really needed reviewed. And I said, you know, okay, well, here's the thing, you know, with Amazon, you can't leave a review unless you actually purchase the product, right? So she was willing to, um, you know, have me purchase it and then she would reimburse me. And right then I was like, no, 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 no. In, in my mind, that could be a little bit of a red flag, but in Amazon's mind, that's a huge red flag. If they catch you doing that, they will suspend your account, shut you down. And the reason I know this, <laughs> there, there's a couple different Facebook groups out there and I had gotten pretty heavily into, into some, you know, it was all about like the, the freebie things. <laughs> um, like there's people, like I wasn't that bad with it, but in this page, they would post like all the contests or all the freebie things you can get. And there's people that would spend 24 7 just filling out forms and getting free stuff from companies <laughs> um it was kind of crazy like people would post like all the mail that came to their door of just all this like free stuff um but the amount of time they devote to that like in my opinion they're just kind of like wasting their life but um sorry not sorry uh there was you know some some of them in the group you know would talk about amazon and they would have these contacts of companies that would I mean, essentially give you free Amazon products in exchange for a positive review. You would purchase the item, leave a positive review, and once you left a positive review, they would reimburse your money. Absolute no, no. This is why I don't trust Amazon reviews, like at all, because there are companies out there buying positive reviews. These people could care less about the product. They don't even turn it on, don't even open it, don't nothing. You know, it shows up at the door, they're just excited to get free stuff, leave a positive review. But then where does that leave like the honest consumers like looking for honest feedback as to whether or not they want this product or not? Um, <laughs> so when she said that, I, I politely declined um, 
you know, receiving any kind of, of like reimbursement for it. I'm like, look, I'm like, if Amazon catches that, they will suspend my account. I said, it's not that expensive of a product. It's something that I would probably enjoy doing anyway. I'm like, I will pay for it. I'll leave a legitimate review and you know, and that's that. Um, and I did kind of feel bad, you know, this product didn't have any reviews yet and on, you know, it's, it's up my alley. <laughs> um, so now as I was looking at the reviews, you know, today, and like I said, a couple days ago, there weren't any. Um, so I'll flip the camera around here and show you. So now there are, there are two reviews on there. Like I said, so I was contacted on the 26th. One review was left on April 28th and one on April 30th. So now my guess is I'm feeling a lot less special about them picking me. Uh, um, and I think, you know, they were just kind of searching out for people willing to do these reviews. And my guess is, I mean, I have no proof of this, but my guess is these people were offered the same incentive. Like, hey, get our product. We, you know, we'll compensate you. We'll pay you for the product. So it's you're getting it for free and we just need you to review it. Well, here's the problem with that. Okay, if anyone is looking at the reviews for this, they want to know I mean, obviously this is, you know, a product that's made in China. So they want to know like, what is the actual quality of this finished product? So here, the first review here, up here, it says, I love the way this was packaged and presented. Also the canvas seems like great quality. You didn't paint it. You didn't, you opened it and left a review and that's it. Okay. And then we have down here, this one easy to paint okay you didn't paint it good quality perfect for a gift or to relieve stress so they actually have a picture here you know which is kind of nice because you see what you're actually getting um but all they did was open the box and lay it out on their carpet and take a picture they didn't paint it i mean it looks like there's color there but i mean that's the same blank canvas here you know i didn't put any paint on this yet there's color there that i'm gonna you know fill in so, ugh. not to sound ungrateful, like, I mean, I think any of us would be excited when a company reaches out um, to say, hey, you know, we'd like to send you something, can you review it? Um, and I mean, YouTubers do it all the time and, the, you know, they make it known on their channel, like, hey, this was sent to me so that I can review it, but these are my honest opinions. And I'm totally fine with that. But on Amazon, like, that's not clearly stated um, that they were sent that, you know, to review or that they're not really paying for it. And again, I can't prove that, but I'm, I'm telling you, like, I'm pretty sure that that's, you know, just the timeline of all that there. Like, mm. So... I'm kind of irritated that they even reached out to me <laughs> just because like I mean this thing's gonna take a long time to paint like and they got their reviews I mean they have two good positive reviews on there <laughs> you know they're good to go now <laughs> like uh if you can see you know behind me here here's this seven foot wooden sign here that I was hired to paint I mean I need to be finishing that um you know, I got a lot of stuff to do and it's going to take me forever to paint this, but I feel like I need to, you know, follow through on what I said I would do. Um, and I would like to see a review, an honest Amazon review on there that actually has like the finished product. I think that's what people want to see is, okay, what's this actually going to look like when I'm done? Um, and I'm kind of intrigued now to, to see that as well. Um, But I mean, it's gotta be like hours that it's gonna take to, to finish this. I don't know, so those are my thoughts on that. Those are my thoughts on Amazon reviews. So if you are an avid Amazon shopper, just be, be leery of that. I mean, look for reviews that have like actual photos of either like a completed thing or, uh, you know, whatever the product is. Um, because that does happen and that happens a lot where companies are pretty much just buying positive reviews uh, and they might not necessarily be honest reviews. So those are my thoughts on that.
might regret asking me to review this. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to finish it. Um, you know, when I was younger, maybe like 10 or 11, I may have like loved trying to attack something like this. You know, especially like if you have a kid that's like artistic and, and stuff like that. Um, I did the, the big sky top portion, but when you get down into like the nitty gritty, like, oh, I just don't have the patience for that. And you do kind of have to go back and forth between the canvas and the paper trying to figure out, um, cause I think all the numbers that are on the paper are not on the canvas and like numbers that are on the canvas aren't on the paper. Like they kind of use the paper to put, you know, fill in, um, that stuff. So it... You know, if I had absolutely nothing else to do, I might finish it. But even then, like, what would I do with it when I'm done with it? Um, for me, personally, like, you know, I do oil paintings now and, and sell them, you know, kind of, you know, a little successfully. Um, so, <laughs> looking at this. Uh, that's what our sky looks like. And again, like a, so I didn't finish the bottom there, but you know, a kid um, that likes art, like might be thrilled with this and be like very proud of their accomplishment when they're done, um, as they should be. <laughs> but I think for now, I'm done with this this project, um, but hopefully this gives you a good, honest review. Um, and I will, you know, for my Amazon review, I, I don't have to be, I don't even have to like say anything. I could just take a picture and be like, you know, this is, you know, I started the top half and this is what it looks like. And then people can decide like, yeah, my kid will really like that or no, it's not for me. Um, but yeah, so there is my review on that half finished project.